Hi, guys and ladies. Once I was in Mexico and I ordered fish at a restaurant. They called it Huachinango. I love to say that, Huachinango. In English, it's Red Snapper. It was about the best dish I ever had. So I searched the internet and finally found a Huachinango recipe that even I might be able to fix. The only thing I need for this dish are, you guessed it, the fish. So let's go get them. Red snapper is a fairly big fish, but I figure I can make the recipe work with bass from Lake Catcher Big One. Let's see if we can catch our dinner using this. This is a little plastic Senko worm, rigged wacky style. So don't hesitate to ask me questions about the setup I'm using. Right there. Something had it. He still got it. You see, the scientists said to take the small ones out. A little tiny Huachinango. Ah, maybe I'll keep them. Welcome aboard the SS Juanello Cruise Line. There's one. Right on the lily pad. Oh, he's nice and fat. You've been eating something. Wachinango. Look at that little tummy. He was by one of the only lily pads in the lake. Got him. Got him. Nice. Not too bad. Oh, there he is. Wachinango size. <laughs> oh, yeah. A little chubbier. That gives me hope for Lake Catch a Big One. So our Senko wacky worm is falling apart. It did. I put a new one on. We're all fat and small today. Watching Ango. I just switched. I'm going to go with this buzz bait, the one that goes along the surface. See how that works out. Fish. Not big, but that's Wachinango size. That one. A little one. Very little, but we need food. And this is the kind the scientists want us to get out of the lake. There's just too many of them. Nice fish. I'm faced with a dilemma. I mean, this is like a meal for two. Meal for me, anyway. Wow. I'm going to return this guy. 18 inches. That's a nice one. Woo, woo, woo. So I had a good time out on the lake, especially when I caught that big one. But here I have six small bass and all I'm going to do is scale them and clean them. No filleting needed. We're doing this the Mexican way. 
Well, it's all ready the next day and here's our clean whole fish. I'm going to start our recipe by making a marinade. Now the recipe says to start with two tablespoons of fresh lime juice. Well, I'm going to use four and I just bought this a month ago. So it's fresh, right? Let's just score this so that the flavor gets in there from the marinade and the fish cooks more evenly. So here I've got a big foil pan and my idea is just to put the fish in there. And now I'm just going to add the marinade. How about a little more of our fresh lime juice? I just put the skillet on medium heat. I'm going to start our sauce now for our huachinango. Quarter cup of oil starts it off. One sliced up onion. Our onions are looking good. Let's add some garlic. I got about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of crushed garlic. Here's an 8 ounce can of Hunt's tomato sauce. Let's add that. How about this? Mexican style lime and cilantro chopped tomatoes. I drained it. This is a bay leaf. I don't know if it does any good. I doubt it. Hey, how about this? Uh, about two or three tablespoons of capers. Hey, looky here. Here's a few tablespoons of uh, sliced canned jalapenos. Mmm, sauce is looking so good. Yeah, you know, I have to tell you, you probably guessed that famous celebrity food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks herself, is coming over for dinner tonight. Uh, we need some romantic time together for our relationship to get to that next level. We might even be getting too old for romance. I don't know. Maybe we can watch a romantic movie together tonight. Maybe that'll spark something. This smells divine. There's that bay leaf. Wachinango. Yep. Here we are outside, why not? It's summer. I'm going to put the whole pan of fish in the grill for 30 minutes. How easy is that? It's time to get it out and plate it up. Well, here we are again with the famous celebrity food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks herself. Thank you so much for stopping over and having dinner with me. How did you like the huachinango? It was succulent and very well flavored and really? very tender, delicious. Great, how'd you like my phony french fries? Oh, I liked them, they were crispy and tasty. Yeah. And very sweet. Oh they yeah, they yes. were, they were, I forgot. You know, uh, Miss T, uh, we've known each other long enough that I can call you Lulu yes, now, right? Yes. Okay, great. Um, do you think we're too old to watch a romantic movie together? Oh, that sounds nice. Oh, great. Hey, can I have a hug? Someday, someday. Nothing.